The first step in setting up your affiliate program is to navigate to the configuration section and start going through these configuration setups. If you're a US-based company, you don't need to change anything in the currency section. In the languages section, you can see all the languages loaded in the system. To import a new language, click on import language button and follow the steps in the important wizard. If you don't want to use some language, you can deactivate it by changing value yes to no in the is active column. Don't forget to save your changes. Generally, unless you have any problems, you can just leave the event logging section alone. This can be used for troubleshooting. If your server is behind a proxy, you can define it in the proxy server section. You can find plugins and modules that can enhance or change the behavior of the system in the plugin section. Features are extensions that can be turned on or off. In the email account section, you can set up email account that will be used for sending emails by the system. If you want to be notified when there is a new sale or affiliate sign up, navigate to the email notification section and check the options you'd like to navigate. Here, you can also enable email notifications for your affiliates. In the email template section, change the content of predefined email messages. Configure everything related to the referrals and sales, like link types, IP address tracking, main site URL, tracking levels, and the tracking settings section. Set up your cookies privacy policy, domain, and cookies overwriting mode in the cookie section. Fraud protection can automatically handle repeating or fraudulent transactions, clicks, leads, sales, coming from the same IP address or with the same order ID. Repeating transactions can occur, for example, when customer refreshes the order confirmation page. So it is recommended to filter out or decline duplicate orders with the same order ID. You can configure names of URL parameters that appear in affiliate links in the URL parameter name section. Banners and links formats are covered in another tutorial. Define minimum payout balances for affiliates in the payouts balance section. Minimum payout balance is the balance that will be used as minimum limit for sending earned commissions. In the payout options, you can define payout options like PayPal, check, money bookers, etc. Define the invoice format and if invoices should be generated automatically for affiliates in the invoice format section. Check generate invoices if you want to generate the invoice for every payment you make. If you're in the country other than United States, it's important to define your VAT rate in format of VAT invoice. You can do that in the VAT handling section. And finally, you have the design and content settings down here. Let's watch other video tutorials that covers those settings in depth. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out via email to support at postaffiliatepro.com or start a live chat conversation on postaffiliatepro.com. Thanks for watching.